As you might guess, um, a lot of people want to talk about this. Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason for the first time today. Hi, this is Rico. Can we investigate Andrew Barry for being a mastermind thief? No, nah, I'm just joking. But in all seriousness, I mean, Barry once again waited till he got his man for his price, not the other team's asking price. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Judy, but for that compensation, you can't be mad at all. I mean, he does have above average route running, and now with his Alabama alumni in Cooper, he can learn even more. I mean, I applaud Barry for being able to acquire talented wide receivers for a low cost. I'm just calling in to give AB his much deserved flowers. Now, where is that extension? Thanks. Go Browns. <laughs> As always, appreciate all the voicemails. You know what? We were looking at this before, Scott. So Amari Cooper, I think, was the fourth pick in the draft. Uh, Judy's the 15th. Elijah Moore is, I believe, the 32nd. So you've got three wide receivers, varying degrees, first, early, second round talent. And the, the most you've given up is a pick swap. You've given up a fifth, a sixth, and a pick swap where you move back, I think it was 32 spots or 23 spots. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, that's how they built the top of the receiver position, right? The receiver room. And, you know, I think a lot of that speaks to, well, it's multiple things. Andrew Barry's willingness to explore different options. The Haslam's willingness to pay guys, right? I mean, Dallas didn't want to pay Murray Cooper anymore. Denver didn't want to pay Jerry Judy. So you give up low round picks and you get, you know, contracts back. And then they also kind of had their hand forced by missing in the draft, right? They missed with Anthony Schwartz. It might be too early to tell about David Bell, but I mean, he hasn't had a huge impact in his two years. Those are both third-round picks. And then we'll see what happens to Cedric Tillman, um, you know, the third-round pick a year ago. But when you when you don't have that influx through the draft in a position, especially one as, a report, as important as receiver, you got to figure it out a different way. So you can kind of give very – low marks for how the Browns have drafted receivers, but then I think you have to give him high marks for how he's compensated by trading for these guys. Yeah, the, the, the curious thing along those lines is Barry hasn't taken anybody higher than the third round, well, a receiver. Um, you know, the, it's been Schwartz, Tillman, and Bell all in the third round. 